I don't know why it has to be explained again and again and again to members opposite that the objective here is to protect the NHS and to stop it from toppling over at a critical time. So these points about the severity of the virus or the efficacy of the vaccine in preventing transmission or serious illness are largely secondary questions. Thank you for giving me. He's making a very good speech, and I apologise for interrupting him. But on a point of science, will he just accept that he's got it a little bit wrong? Having the vaccine doesn't stop you spreading it. It just makes it much less likely that it's going to harm you very badly. So you can have the vaccine and you can still spread it. And to imply otherwise is just wrong. Uh, c- can I just say to the honourable gentleman who has, who has called repeatedly from a sedentary position that I don't uh, know the science, that I, has, I said nothing of any sort to contradict the points he has just made. And with respect to members opposite, and particularly people who oppose these measures, I think the thing that they're missing is that what is indisputable is that the booster does provide greater protection than the first and second jab, that vaccination full stop provides better protection, and that if we're talking about NHS pressures and workforce pressures, the biggest danger is that the virus sweeps through the health and social care workforce, knocks a load of people out in the middle of the busiest period for the NHS, and then the system topples over. I don't know why it has to be explained again and again and again to members opposite that the objective here is to protect the NHS and to stop it from toppling over at a critical time. So these points about the severity of the virus or the efficacy of the vaccine in preventing transmission or serious illness are largely secondary questions because we know the virus is spreading, we know it is spreading rapidly, and we know that if it rips through the health and social care workforce, that is the biggest risk to the NHS. That is what is going to topple it over.